السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is lesson number three in our course Excel for Engineers. In this lesson, we will focus about the conditional formatting. This is very useful tool in Microsoft Excel 2010. The main idea of conditional formatting it will give you the color, the background, fill the border line or the everything. I mean everything you can format. The cell based on its value. Let's take an example here. Let's select these cells and use a conditional format and check if it is greater than let's say 10. Okay. So whatever greater than 10, it will be formatted by this. If I change this number here to 50, the formatting will be changed. Of course, I can edit and manage the formatting. I can here manage rules. I can choose from here format. I can choose the color. I can choose the font. I can make it all italic. The border, even the border, I can change it. Let's say outline like this. And when I click apply, everything will be changed based on the value. So if again I change this one to 100, this because of this greater than 100, it is the format of this is say change. We can still here from managing rules. If you make double click. It is a, a condition if the cell value greater than this value C S C one. It could be between two values. It could be not between two values, or equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, less than, or equal to. And this could be based on the cell value or specific text dates, blank, no error, if error. For example, if you have here one of the common thing we are using in the uh, conditional formatting, <coughs> when you have an error cell, like if you make this one, let's say this cell equals this cell divided by this cell. See, you have here error. So I can use conditional format make it like this and this is zero I have here 100 200 5 0 0 5 if I drag this formula and there is some error here and error here if I want to remove this error uh, from my formula because it seems it look ugly so I can use conditional format new rule cell value contain one error what I will do I will make the font color white so it will not be shown and okay see here when I make the font color white I didn't see the error in this in this cell value the conditional format in our course I'll tell you how to use it to make a bar chart even based on the cell value I use this one to create a bar chart based in the conditional format so mainly the conditional format you can if you have this sheet and you want to clear everything every conditional format just go and clear rules clear rules from entire sheet and everything is done if you want to add a new conditional format from here you can make a new rule you can uh, make it there is some custom things made but I usually I'm not using them I'm using just new rule I make new rule and I bought my own rules so you have here this is the uh, uh, 
options so if it's let's say if the cell value between 10 and 100 if the cell value between 10 and 100 what i can format i want to fill it by red for example this is very simple one. so here it is formatted it is highlighted all the values with this value i can add another rule if the cell value contain error if error so i want to highlight it by yellow so i know there is this one is contains error in my formula i can apply this to all the sheets so i can figure out what is the problem here and one of the most important thing when i use a filter if i use from data i added filter and i have this one i can filter by color this so i filter only the error cells so i can fix this one can fix the formula so the error now is gone so i filtered this cell based on its color and its color came from uh, a conditional format that this uh, cell value contains an error of course there is a lot of applications and uh, and a lot of things to be done by the conditional format uh, and we'll go uh, just in this lesson i need you to know how it's for what you can see here in the conditional format uh, but uh, we will see see the apply how you apply this conditional format to have the benefit of drawing bar chart and to have formatting the whole sheet or identifying errors as we said or identifying odd values if you have very big values in, in your uh, 4000 row sheet how you can find it out so it is easy to find out using the conditional format i hope you enjoyed this lesson i'll see you in the next lesson bye